Hello and welcome to another Tech Distractions video. In this one we're looking at a new DOSBox SVN port for the Nintendo 3DS made by Mr. Who. I hope I pronounce this correctly. I've made this one for December, which celebrates all things DOS. You can check out the official playlist linked in the comments below. A few notes before we get started here. I am using a custom firmware on my console and I do not recommend you do this unless you absolutely know what you're doing. As such, I won't be putting any links or descriptions in this video relating to this custom firmware. This is a very early version of the software, and while it worked for me, there's obviously no guarantees this will work for you. I've got it to work on a new Nintendo 2DS XL, but your mileage may vary with other models. There are other DOSBox ports for the 3DS, like the one in RetroArch. I'm aware of them, I haven't had a great experience with them so far, and I thought I'd try this one instead. I don't have any advanced video capture for the 3DS, and I'm using a simple setup with a basic camera to record the screen. Video is going to look pretty wonky and awkward, but hopefully it'll still come out okay and get the point across. So here we go, let's fire up DOSBox. Scaling for text mode doesn't work too well yet. To bring up the UI, you simply just press and hold the button. First up, we'll check out DOSBench, put together by Phil's Computer Lab. 3D Bench 1.0 gives us a result of 8.1 frames per second. Chris's 3D gives us a score of 10.5 and 11.1 .1 frames per second. PC Player gives us 4.2 frames per second. Doom, we get about 21.77 frames per second on the lower settings. System information 8.0, it detects it as a 486DX at 24 MHz, but gives us a score bouncing around 12. This makes me think we're closer to a very low end 386 or 286. Topbench confirms this with a score of 21. Comparing this score with a Philips P3230, which is a 286 at 12 MHz, that I covered in a previous video, we can see DOSBox is quite a bit faster, despite the top end score. I'm covering some 386 based systems soon, and maybe the SX build might be an interesting comparison with these numbers. Let's check out some games. Skyroads, a classic 286 era game with AdLib, runs fine. GP Circuit, an XT286 game with PC speaker, also runs fine. Stepping up to Formula 1 GP, even on the lower settings it runs, but can't keep up with a minimum frame rate of 8 frames per second. Bats, another 2A6 game with Adlib, runs great. Jazz Jackrabbit, a 3A6 game with Sound Blaster support, runs okay but does slow down sometimes even on the lower settings. It's still playable though. Epic Pinball runs fine but unfortunately not playable in this emulator due to the way the key mapping works. Unfortunately right shift can't be mapped and hopefully this gets fixed in an upcoming version. One must fall. Like Jazz, runs okay but does slow down at times. Stunts, this is more like it, runs great on low details. Wolf 3D, runs fine at 3 quarter screen size. Test Drive 3. Runs OK without any adjustments at all. Arkanoid 2. No problem here. This is an early XT game. Runs fine on this unit.
Duke Nukem 1 also runs great. Electro Man. This one did struggle a little, was a bit sluggish to operate. Indy 500, an XT class game with no problems here. Iron Man Off Road, a classic game with ad lib sound. Again, no issues here. Prince of Persia runs fine with ad-lib support. Stardust unfortunately skips and runs at a really low frame rate. Such a shame, I love this game. Scunny Cart. This one pushes the emulator just a little bit too much. It'll play okay, but it's not too fun at this frame rate. Even with this very early version of the port, you can run many DOS games on the new 2DS XL and new 3DS XL. Performance seems to range between a 10 MHz 286 and a slow 386, depending on the game title. And with some config tweaking, I'm sure you could get this running better than I did. I recommend if you want to play some of the more higher end DOS classics like Quake, Doom and Duke 3D, you best stick to the homebrew ports rather than trying to run them on DOSBox. In closing, I must say I'm impressed and grateful I can run a whole bunch of XT, 286 and even some early 386 games on my 2DS XL with its quality controllers, compact size and long battery life. I do hope development continues on this port and I look forward to seeing further updates. For now I'll leave it at that. Thanks for being part of the 20% Club and hanging around for the end of this video. Be sure to check out the other Dosember videos in the official playlist linked down in the comments below. Thank you and see you next time.